So, uh, the boom is at 60 degrees. Thank you. So, Eve, you're the foreman. We want to show us the hand signals to raise. To raise the load. Okay. Keep going. Stop. Lock it off. Good. And it's... Okay, it's tipping over, right? Good. Okay. Lower the load before we have trouble. Thank you. Lower it all the way to the ground. Good sound effects. Okay. Now. Perfect. Okay, so there's the crane. How long is the boom? It's 40 inches. And the weight of the crane? It's um, 18.75 pounds. And the distance from the center of gravity to the pivot point? It's 10 inches. So over here, we got those numbers. Wait a minute. So we got the numbers. Weight times distance, right? Yes. Weight times distance equals, equals torque. And the weight of the crane is 18.75 pounds times 10 inches from the center of gravity to the pivot point. So if you multiply those two to find the torque, your answer is 187.50 pounds. Okay, now let's show me the other side of the equation. The load is 9 pounds. Nine up there? Pounds. Okay. And now, now how do we find the distance from the center of gravity of the load to the pivot point? Side, it's at 60, 30, 90. Right. And we. The shortest fly, side. Yeah, the shortest side is always half of the distance of the longest side. Good. And half of 40 inches is 20 inches. So then. Beautiful. You multiply 20 times 9, or 20 inches times 9 pounds, and we get 180 inch pounds. So we got 180 inch pounds on one. Now, oh, did we. What about the. Uh, now we forgot to include the boom. The boom weighs 4 pounds. Where is it? Four pounds. And uh, how do we figure out, so that's the, the weight, how do we figure out the distance? Well, it's going to be in the middle of the crane because um, both sides would weigh the same. So the center of gravity is yeah. 20 inches right here, from, from, from the pivot, the point. pivot point. point. Good. If you draw a line here, that is 10 inches. Wait, wait, show me. Let's, let me. Let me look at that other triangle over there. Move, move back, let's see. So. The distance from the center of gravity to the pivot point is 20 inches. Yeah. So right now we, we have another triangle there, another 30, 60, 90? Yep. And Show me. So we need to, um, the, yeah, so the center of gravity is right here. So we measure the distance from here to there. Good. It's 10 inches. Good, because in the 30, 60, 90 triangle, the yeah. short side is half of the long side. Good. So the distance is 10 inches. And the weight is four inch, four pounds. So what? Tell me. So, give me the numbers. For, Go ahead. So, um, if the boom weighs four pounds, um, and the distance is ten, ten inches. inches, four times ten is forty. So the answer is forty inch pounds, which is added to the one hundred and eighty inch pounds that we already have. This is 220 inch pounds, and which is more than, more than that's, why, that's why it tipped over. Yes. So now we have to figure out how much counterweight we need and where to put it. So we need counterweight to keep it from tipping over. All we got is one brick. So why don't you put it in the crane someplace in the middle there. Okay. Let's lift up the load and see if, if it's going to work. Foreman? Okay, that didn't work. Yeah. Okay, any ideas? Madison, what can we do? We could put the counterweight farther up, at the very end. Okay, the let's do that. The distance will be greater, yes. And if the distance is greater, the torque is, the torque is greater. Beautiful. Okay, Foreman.
Good. So it worked. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if the numbers tell us why it worked. So we're going to measure from the center of gravity of the of the counterweight to the. Can we call it 30? Yeah, sure. 30. To the pivot point, it's 30 inches. Shh. Okay, Ben, so we added. Uh, wait, we added one brick, which is four and a half pounds, and the distance from the center of gravity of the brick to the pivot point was. 30 inches. Okay, weight times distance, show me the. Okay, so we had four and a half times thirty is four and a half times thirty is one hundred and thirty thousand pounds. So we added that to the hundred and eighty seven, which was the, the, the crane. Yes. And we got three hundred and thirty two point five inch pounds. Which was a lot more than the two hundred and twenty. Yeah. And it's probably enough that it fulfilled the safety factor we had. Yeah. Okay. So, so it didn't tip over. Exactly. Now, if we, if we, let's say we didn't have the counterweight, or we had to lift the load, we couldn't, we, the load was still, still two bricks, we couldn't change that, and we had no counterweight. What could we do to be able to lift the load? Lift the boom. Raise the boom? Yeah. Raise the boom. To a, a higher angle? Yeah. yeah. Let's try that. Yeah. yeah, let's try that. Okay, we raise the boom. Now we're going to, we don't have the counterweight. Now let's see, we're going to lift the load. And didn't tip over. It worked. It worked. So if we don't have a counterweight, the solution is to raise the boom. the boom. So when we raise the boom, the distance from the load to the pivot point gets shorter. So if the distance is shorter, less, less, less torque. torque.